Hello Aquarius, this is your July 1st, 2016 to July 15th, 2016 reading. I will be using the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland for the main read, and the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue for the advice cards. Decks have been pre-shuffled, so let's go. Okay, so for the card reading, as we go into this time frame, uh, I feel you, you've got a lot going on. You've got a lot on your plate. That's what I'm seeing right from the, the get-go. Definitely, if you're in the U.S., of course, July 1st is a Friday, and then we're going through the long weekend with the holiday of July 4th, ending on Monday. Um, and that might be why you're so busy in the beginning. There are um, just a lot of projects, a lot of fun, a lot of energy, things going, things going, things good. Um, for the most part, it's good. There may be, you know, I mean, this is a general read, so take it with a grain of salt, of course. But there's a lot of good go things going on, hand in a lot of pots, um, a lot of talking, a lot of fun. I don't, I mean, there's a lot going on, I'll be honest with you. It's just busy, busy, busy. And uh, for all the other reads... I and mean, there's been things going on, but for yours, I see, like, there's a lot going on. You have a lot going on, a lot going forward. If you're not in the U.S., it's still going to be a busy weekend. A lot of energy. A lot of good, um... Getting a lot of things done. Like, typically when I do a personal read, I try to s center in on what exactly we're talking about here, but since it's a general read... I'm just a lot of going on a lot. I feel like people, for the most part, in the Aquarius boat here, <laughs> a lot of things getting done, like cookouts, parties, doing things like that. I think in a lot of cases, you might be hosting the party. If you're not hosting it, you have a hand in getting things done. Um, or... For example, if you're attending somebody else's party, you kind of get other people to go, like, let's go hang out here after, let's go have a campfire after, like, it's that type of energy going on here. Like, you want to do a lot of things, and you plan to do it. Um, it's interesting, because you, as you transition after that weekend, there was so much going on, and everybody else is tired, uh, but you're still kind of like, what else can I do? And they're like, where, where'd everybody go? Like, they're all taking naps, because it's that kind of feel. <laughs> um... I feel like you got a, you you got a lot going on in the beginning, and then like you, I almost feel like you burned people out. Like you had so much going on, and some you had kept, kept people going and going and going. And they're like, I just need I need a moment here. Um, I feel like the next weekend after that, you're gonna kind of be like recharging your batteries. In fact, from this first part to the second part, first weekend to the second weekend, you maybe you actually burned yourself out. And you're just like, okay, I just ran myself ragged. It was a lot of fun, but I need a break. And there may be plans for this second week that you kind of did, but you might be like, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I got to cancel. I just feel like I needed some time just to do things on my own or either that or there's a couple people that are very therapeutic and relaxing for you and you just want to spend time with them. Not because you don't like the, the normal people or the other people you hang out with, but these certain people are more of like recharging, battery rechargers for you. Like they help you get your vitality back. So that's kind of why you want to hang out with them. And um, you just need to like let loose. Because that's what these three cards together are saying to me. Um, I feel like you might pull away from certain people and they might be kind of worried about that. But it's very temporary. And once the, once you're back in the fold and you come back together things are good again because I feel like that second weekend especially you just kind of need to recharge your batteries and you may pull away from certain people because of that and they may and they may get a little nervous it's unfounded and it's going to come back into line by the 15th anyway but still just so you're aware of it uh, I feel like you're very important to these people like there's certain people that you are very close with or at least 
for example, if it's a job that you just kind of like need a minute to just like, all right, I'm not working overtime on this weekend. And people are like, uh oh, what's happening? Why, why aren't they here? They're like, this is, they're a big piece of this puzzle. Like, but it's completely fine. You come back into the fold and like, if they voice their concerns, you're like, you know, I'm human. I need to recharge my batteries. <laughs> so it's good. It's good. Let's put in some, um, uh, see this came upside down. So let's look at that. So when I'm looking at the release your X upside down, it tells me that you're overburdened. So with the find your balance, I'm getting like the, oh, a lot of wheel energy here, a lot of things going on here at once. And for some of you, it's definitely the job. Like I almost feel like some of you, if you're not working overtime, you're making things happen for that holiday weekend and you're just you're doing a lot there's a lot going on and i feel like it's over you're overburdening yourself this first weekend even if you're having fun and you have a there's a lot of things you want to do and you're like oh it's all good it's all fun stuff you're gonna find by the end of the weekend you overbooked yourself <laughs> and by the time you know tuesday morning monday night if you're not in an area that has that three-day weekend if you're like if it's just a normal weekend for you, still, when that weekend is over, you're going to feel like, wow, I'm just like exhausted, overburdened. And that's why the second weekend, you're going to take that time out for yourself. For some of you, you're just going to feel like you just really need it. For others, I feel like you may really burn yourself out. You may have a little bit of like a, you may make yourself sick, not like bad drop down, can't get up sick, but just like, oh my God, I have headaches or I'm having stomach issues or whatever. Maybe your legs and feet are hurting you because your body's just saying, you know what, I need a break. You're just overworking me. But as you get closer to the 15th, you're back to your normal self. If you're able to get out there and have fun, um, you're doing things like you normally would. My advice in the beginning, though, is just if you can, at the very least, delegate to other people. If, there's, if it's one of those situations where you have all these fun things planned... Try to like list them the top two or three that you really want to do and try to make the other ones uh, able to like cancel out if you want to without any type of recourse or any type of bad situation. Like try not to be in control of all of them. Have a couple where you can just kind of like step back and be like, oh, I, I wanted to come, but I can't because this, that or the other thing. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Uh, so that's your mini read for the July 1st to July 15th, 2016. I will put information in the info bar, how to get a reading from me if you would like. I'll also have a main video up explaining how to do that as well. Thank you very much for watching and you have a great day.